Do I know how to say what? what you I say? think we're on. Oh. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? I'm Dan Ferris. I'm Michael Williamson. Coming to you from the finest little agency on the prairie, Complete Media, Inc. Oh, this can get a little touchy. This can get a little awkward. This can get a little intense. Uh, see how to word... We're not going to talk about the Vikings. <laughs> they lead the NFC. They're huge. Anyway. I smell Super Bowl, which is being played in Minneapolis, by the way. Yeah, I know. It's, well, it's going to be fantastic. And uh, that's my hometown. We've dated ourselves. Hi, Mom. Uh, here's the deal, and, and we do run into this. We want to talk about client requests for marketing materials, additional advertising, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That may not actually reach the objectives at hand or fit within the strategies that have been set forth and how to, how to do that dance, how to, how to deal with that. And this is important. A lot of times it is about ideas and with our clients we love hearing what they have to say and sharing what their thoughts are and when we do set a course and get our matrixes in order and we know where we're going and all of a sudden they will call one of us and go, hey I was thinking how about this? Yep. How about you make me one of those? How about one of those? How it's, about we do this? It, it is a necessary evil and you know as much as we'd like to uh, think that it's probably not the most efficient, effective, affordable uh, expenditure of one's time, creativity, effort, whatever it is. Things like that come up. But in reality, we understand that. In practice, it would be great if whenever someone who is in the mix uh, decides that they've identified something that is outside of the plan and the strategies that have been put in place, is necessary and crucial that at least they have a conversation internally at least have a conversation with the likes of us so that we can really um, prioritize what things are happening and where that falls into place and and hopefully uh, at the end of that conversation you know the goal is to say really what's that going to do for you what's what how much business is that going to generate i always like saying to my clients when they're considering something you know somebody approached me they want me to buy this advertisement in this program or this in this magazine and it's going to cost me this much and what do you think and i said well you know whether i have familiarity with it or not it doesn't matter i just say you have to put a pencil to it and decide how much is it going to cost and how much new bez new business does that effort need to generate in order to pay for itself and if you can't do that then you shouldn't do it it's no it's no more complicated than that and that's it it's just in all honesty is this going to serve the purpose is this going to help meet the objective or can these same dollars we're talking about now be utilized somewhere more powerfully somewhere else or should we not spend them at all Put them back in the bank, man. Put it in the win column. Sure. Great story. We sat, we sat at this table. Uh, it had to be five, five and a half years ago. Great guy, client, and he was uh, his gravy train was business to business. He was B to B, uh, service provider, actually. And we'd been working together probably five, six months and, and had him on track and had things growing nicely. And he made the announcement, I want to be on the radio. And I said, okie dokie, what kind of a budget do you have for that? I have an extensive broadcast background myself, so I know, I know my way around it. And he told me, and I said, my, my advice is no. To no. No. That cash will get burned up. You'll, you'll get nothing, nothing from that. Well, yeah, but you work for me, right? And he pulled that one. <laughs> Technically, yeah. Yep. Well, I want you to make me a radio bison. I, I can't. Not with that budget. I, I won't. In all good conscience, I won't. And and he fired us <laughs> on the spot. He did. And I remember sitting there going, okay, ethically, was that correct? Was anything correct? And I processed it. And it's like, okay, let's work ahead about a month and a half, two months down the line. He called me. May I come in and see you? Absolutely. And we sat right back down where we had met the last time. And he said, I'm, I'm really sorry. I... I did the radio thing, and you were dead on right. Can we can we work together? And again? inside, you were like a happy little girl, just going. <laughs> no, I did. I'm I right. Still, I'm I right. Yeah. Bad, but you know, sometimes yeah. it's a like, learning moment. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, sometimes people have to have those, and we we encounter a lot of people that have those well, kind of stories. Well, the fact is, I could have brokered that arrangement for him, sure you but you know what? Then it would have been my fault. Well, so yeah. I mean, like, there no. is that, and and we do run into that uh, occasionally. I mean, I walked into the the closet, the supply closet of a of a client not long ago, and they had an internal marketing person in place. They made a shift there. They came to us and. When I paid them a visit, I walked in and was blown away by how many things were on the shelves. Mouse pads, keychains, pens, pinwheels, uh, koozies, t-shirts, uh, you, you name it. And I just went, what is all of this? Well, the prior marketing person deemed this as being all necessary. Swag down. And I just went what do you think that is done for you and what it will do for anyone yeah well that's maybe why why you're here and i said well good enough and they go you don't recommend any of this i said there is a time and place right if you're going to have an uh, open house and you're having clients in if you're going to uh, host a mixer and you want to give something away we give things away uh we give pens away we give notepads we, under no circumstances, do we think that's going to be a game changer, that it's going to be perceived as of great value. It's a nice gesture. It's a token gesture. We don't expect to give somebody a decent coffee mug and they're going to sit on the corner uh, like the bell ringer for Salvation Army and we're going to get exposure for that. It's just meant to say here, you know, uh, rather than give you a blank cup or mug, we're going to put our name on it yeah. so that every once in a while you go, you know what, those guys are all right. That's what that's what it's for. That's, and people so often they generate something and they tag something and they go, oh, "This is this is going to change, well, man. Well, we're we're going to get some business out of this." And the reality is, no, you're not. I think to, to simplify it, you can put it down. You know, the same equation as wants versus needs. Mm -hmm. You know, marketing dollars. What do we need, really, to meet the goal set, the objectives set, to see a return on that investment, as opposed to, I want. You know, we've had clients over the years where all of a sudden, you know, in their website, well, I really want a video on there. Can you shoot a video? And, and it's it's our job to say why. <laughs> why? You know, I'm thinking about a 22-minute video. Again, it's it's a two-way system. It, it always is. And, and, and I think humility plays a real key role in that when it comes to clients wanting something what does that mean really and no one's the smartest in the room and you know sometimes the ideas are fantastic and sometimes the light sure. bulb is going off in, in a true fashion and and we have that discussion but again something you want some shiny marketing object isn't always necessarily something that a you really need b possibly can't afford not in the original budget and c is it going to do you any good? No, it's not a game changer. It's about setting your priorities. It's almost like setting your marketing plan in place, identifying the goals and the, and and the strategies, and and equating a, a budgetary line item with that, and then almost saying, okay, so that makes sense. That's that's doable, and then saying, all right, now let's set aside some money for junk. And then just like you do for office supplies, like you do for coffee supplies, like you do for cleaning supplies, create a, a line item for stuff that, that everybody perceives as a marketing expense and really it's just a fun expense. I mean, it's it really has over time, I always have this conversation, I'm sure you have over time, at some point in what we do in, in, in our industry in marketing and advertising, somebody grouped together sales and marketing. And I always said, I don't necessarily agree that sales and marketing is the same as marketing as its own entity or advertising. And there's a lot of crossover, right? But when it comes to sales and marketing, I think a lot of the people that go out and sell those things that are branded, sure, and that's and that's important too. If you're gonna if you're gonna spend the money to get something, it should be branded and it should be uniform and it should be in keeping with your company's overall uh, standards, branding standards, and that's great. And that's something that we help our clients with. But at no time do we ever say, you know what, if you're if business is struggling or you want to expand your markets, you should get some koozies 
It's not. You didn't go see. That's not going to happen. If you want to have some on hand. Luggage to, tags. To, to luggage tags. <laughs> watch out. If you want to have something on hand to share with people just as a token of appreciation or just as goodwill, that's great. Um, but you know what? You can accomplish the same thing by offering them a soft drink when they come in. They're, they're going to get more satisfaction out of a cold, nice, refreshing beverage. Yeah, unless or, you, you know, or perhaps a croissant. Yeah, unless you really want to stoke it up. For instance, uh, for Christmas and every year we do a little something for all But we're clients. not this year, by the way. It's, we're on record. We're not doing anything. Actually, it's going to be huge. It's not. It's going to be it's, huge. He's lying. I called Humane Society this afternoon. All of our clients are getting a complete media kitten. Yeah, they'll from, be, from, from Hurricane Irma years. area, so they'll be riddled with parasites and, <laughs> and all ma- manner of maladies, and they'll, you'll know it when you receive it. Merry Christmas, kitten, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Ten-inch tapeworm. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Yeah, client requests outside the we so marketing. I mean, but it, you know, it's it's fun. It's got to be fun too. Yeah, throw some fun into the mix. Yeah. There's all there's a lot out there. There's yeah. a lot out there. But what's sensible? What's going to get your return on your investment? That's so important, and we will never ever steer from that. Not ever, ever, ever. We'll always have the discussion, but when the rubber meets the road, man, what's really going on? Because the fact of the matter is, business owners entrust us with their money. That's a huge responsibility. So, you know, just burning through piles of cash to, you know, get cool stuff because your mother-in-law saw it on QVC. (laughs) Wow, (laughs) I watch QVC. What Uh, is going on in my life? I'm Dan Ferris. I'm Michael Williamson. Hey, give us a call, 605-360-2259. Is that that correct? I I have no idea. Right on. From the finest of the lake, see on the prairie, complete media. See ya. Bye.